Hey guys, do you love the internet? Everyone loves the internet, right? Duh, they do. Who doesn't like the internet? Obama! <laughs> no. And after careful research and analyzation, I've discovered something. The internet likes pictures. These pictures are all over Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, and there's a lot of different kinds. Take a look. The classic meme. This type of internet picture is some ridiculous photo that blew up and got popular and is now infiltrating our society as we know it. Or some ridiculous thing that somebody said in a video or a song and is now infiltrating our society as we know it. YOLO, Sweet Brown, Neon Cat, Grumpy Cat, One Does Not Simply Walk Into Mordor, and so on and so forth. The internet face. I'm still not sure why these are so popular. Also known as rage faces, these badly drawn heads can be put on anything, be classified as humor, and thought to be clever and funny. Ow. The relatable post. I like these ones. I think their purpose is to make us feel like we're not the only weird klutzes in the world. Things said in these usually pictureless posts are things you're thinking in your head sometimes, but you don't usually say it out loud because there's not really a reason to. And once you see that thing on Facebook that you thought you'd be the only one who ever noticed, but then you realize that somebody else noticed it too and took the bother to put it up on Facebook, it makes your day. You're usually like, Oh, I know that stupid thing too! Have fun! I just cracked my back. But you're probably more like, oh, the world is dumb, just like me. The relationship slash breakup pic. A subdivision of the relatable post, these pictures are just too cheesy for words. The setup for this kind is either some picture that's either cute and happy, saying you make my day, I love being texted first, that awkward moment when you're in love and something about poop, or sad and emo. It's amazing how you can hate someone so much, but keep thinking about them in your mind. Can't you just see that I'm over you? It's just wimpily trying to make you feel better about your relationship. Just Wait till you're older, you misguided youth. The sweetheart. There will always be that friend of yours on Facebook who will comment on the sweetheart picture and be like, Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so true. Whoa. The sweetheart in set picture is usually some teeny bopper guy with One Direction hair and dimples. And the words in the picture of him are like, No matter what the world says, you're beautiful. Now here's the thing. I don't mean to be a poop, but this isn't true. Not everyone is beautiful. And it doesn't really matter what kind of beautiful you're talking about either. There are some people out there who just aren't very pretty. But usually those kind of people have the best personalities out of any of your friends because they're humble. And so, their inside is beautiful. There are some people who are really pretty on the outside, but in some cases these people can be really cocky and bratty because they know they're pretty and so they're like, I'm so pretty. Or if they're a guy, they're like, I'm a man, I can flex and get all the ladies. Oh yeah, look at all this, look at all this muscle man. Oh my gosh, I'm so pretty, oh my gosh, I should probably stop now and let Stuart get back to his video. So I'm sorry you teeny bubber One Direction guys who are trying to be sweet, but not everyone's beautiful. The fail pic. Any perfectly timed picture of a fail. They're funny, but isn't it kind of horrible of us to laugh at so hard at someone else's misfortune? <laughs> no. The one like equals one punch. There's just pictures of somebody doing something cruel and inhumane, like choking a baby or punching a kitten, with words underneath that are like, one like equals one punch. <laughs> to the people who post these pictures, I think you're nasty. Using something cruel and awful just so you can get Facebook likes? Something's wrong with you. No. Just no. If you truly wanted to raise the awareness of child and animal cruelty, you wouldn't do it that way. <gasps> and similar to these pictures are like one like equals one prayer, or one like equals one high five, or one like equals no it doesn't. One like equals one like. One prayer equals one prayer. There isn't a substitute. Just get some likes some other way, not just like substituting things for prayers and punches. Like the trending type. Now these get really obnoxious. A new one-of-a-kind internet picture goes viral, and then its uniqueness gets killed by so many remakes and parodies of it. The political picture. The most contentious of all the internet pictures, the political picture can come in the form of any of the previously stated pictures. And since the world is liberal, they're usually about Obama and stuff. Obama! Personally, I see a lot of conservative pictures, but that's only because I consider myself a Republican, and I go on, like, all the gun owners' pages on Facebook, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I issue a challenge. Come up with your own new breed of internet pictures. Wait, breed? Mm. Well, you get the point.